Welcome back into the six minute warm up. I'm Haley Maxwell, ready to take on day two of the 2020 guaranteed rate Skate America. If you haven't already noticed, we've got another six minutes on the clock and let's get started. It's great to finally say that skating is back. Yesterday was really a rush for everyone involved and really everything we had hoped for and more with a high level of skating, great camaraderie. And you know, without getting into too much detail, let's check out some highlights from yesterday. All right, no intro, no intro, let's just go. Yeah. The best part is we get to relive all of that all over today. And now, although it may appear like the scubble is nothing but athletes grinding it out, which, you know, it honestly is, we did take a moment and challenge athletes to a fun game of heads up. Some were better than others, some were more competitive than others, looking at you specifically, Brandon Frazier, and all were hilarious. Take a look. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. Dueling, or whatever that's called. Stirring an egg. A heart? Oh, okay. okay uh, oh, driving a bus, catching a bus, getting a taxi, sniffing flowers, picking flowers, giving CPR. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's a uh, toe, a uh, skating, bigger skating. <laughs> DJ. Yeah. Uh, screw in! Follow the blade, boys. Hula hooping. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> that was good. Yeah, that video will truly never get old. I never thought I would see figure skaters have trouble acting out what ice skating is. It's a good thing they can figure skate because they have not much of a future of a heads up career. And our production staff had such a great time filming this with the athletes. And well, if you haven't already noticed, the theme for this event for really everyone across the board is new. And it's changed in almost every single aspect. You know, no coaches in the kiss and cry, no fans in the stands, and obviously so much more. And if you're wondering if you're going to see another infamous Nathan Chen award ceremony blunder just like this one right here honestly it's a great moment we are sad to report that it won't be happening athletes who medal this evening will be picking up and placing their own medals on themselves backstage but don't worry you'll still be able to relish in the moment with these top skaters at this event stay right here on our social channels and we'll keep you completely up to date and speaking of backstage, we've got some behind the scenes moments that truly the world deserves to see. One of the little girls at the ice rink, uh, she came up to me like the last day of practice and she was like, here, I made this for you. And it's, uh, it's just a little good luck charm and uh, cats come with. <laughs>
Of course, in the spirit of competition, we've selected the top four backstage moments from yesterday, and we're making a Twitter poll to go along with it right after this video. So we've chosen Amber Glenn dancing in the Kiss and Cry by herself without her coaches socially distancing, Brian Johnson, super casual before his short program, giving a thumbs up to the camera, and Caitlin and John Luke waving to many of the cutout fans at the Orleans Arena, and last, Danny O'Shea blending in with the drapes hung backstage in the warm-up area. That video, it really gets me every time. And that was another quick six minutes. Be sure to head to our Twitter to vote on what your favorite backstage moment is. And that wraps up this episode of the six minute warm up. Remember the ice desk will be live throughout the day again today on the US Figure Skating Fan Zone. And be sure to check out the virtual fan experience also on the Fan Zone and stay safe.